Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th, for around the 30th, okay? So keep in mind, not every reading is for you. I still, people still don't understand that. Okay, they don't, you know, they don't understand it, and I'm sorry that I have to keep mentioning it. I know that the more majority of you do understand that, but there's a lot of people that don't. A lot of people don't still don't understand about the October readings either. They're watching them in September. They'll say something stupid that, you know, it, readings for October. <laughs> Anyhow... Anyhow, and it's a preview of what's to come, right? If the reading is for you. So, whatever. Anyhow, um, I uh, have gotten a lot of re requests for uh, private readings as of lately. A lot. Like, every day a couple requests. So, and that's been going on for a while now. So, I decided to open up a, a few slots. And you can find the link to book in the description box of every reading or in the community tab if you're looking to book a reading. I think I only opened 15 for now, but I'm going to open more. I think. I'm, I'm not making any promises on that. Um, we'll see how it goes and how I feel after I do them. Uh, these readings definitely drain me. Um, I, don't, I don't read like other readers, okay? I, I go for my intuition mostly. A lot of times my readings don't go by the textbook, you know? It doesn't go by what the, it says in the book, what the card means. Okay, I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Sometimes it does, but often it doesn't. Okay, that's how I read. So anyhow, what do I got? I got the, I got the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles is what I cut it to. So, Five of Pentacles, that is financial burden. It is uh, not, not getting help when help is available it's like choosing to be a victim we could have somebody here that's extremely stubborn you know they're just choosing not to get help this is somebody that is in a, in a victim mentality it's like there's help available but they're choosing not to um we also have somebody that is being led in the wrong direction you know, when when there is help available, there somebody has received some poor counsel or some poor advice from somebody, you know, which has told them to just, you know, just keep going in that direction. Even, you know, even if you need the help or even if you've been abandoned or you've been neglected, don't ask, don't ask. Just keep going in the direction, you know, die in a situ this situation, basically. You know what I mean? I feel like we have somebody here that there's help available, but they're being told hold you know don't ask for help or don't go in there or don't go down that path you know somebody is being led down the wrong path okay they're being led in the wrong direction there is help available you know but both of these people there's two people here are choosing not to see it's it's pretty clear that there's help available it is pretty clear so both of these people are very stubborn they're in a victim mentality mindset they may have a very big ego or a lot of pride, you know, or maybe they've been rejected before and they just don't think that they'll uh, be accepted now. Now we have the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is, you know, emotional support. It's also an offer of love or an offer of emotional support. Somebody that could be looking for a relationship. This is somebody that is... Um, making an offer from the heart so an offer from the heart is coming but but i feel like there's a struggle here there's a struggle with ego there's a struggle with pride in accepting you know accepting this offer so i feel like there is an offer that is coming but there's somebody that can accept it and i feel like they or they won't accept it or they won't acknowledge it because for one they like their victim mentality obviously they like it Okay, there's, obviously they do. Um, or they are very, very smug. You know, it's just, and, and I don't mean smug like I have it all kind of smug. It's like their ego is too big to accept help. Or this is somebody that has been rejected so many times that they just don't feel, don't want to waste their time. It's like, you know, why, why even ask for help? They're just going to reject me. You know, so that could be the case as well.
We have somebody here that is very, very insecure, put it that way, with the Five of Pentacles. They're insecure. It's like there's an offer that is coming, or there's an offer here, but there's insecurity in the way of it. Somebody may even feel like they're not adequate, you know? Mmm. Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups is things getting better. It's love. It's a new start in love. It could be, uh, well, this is about being emotionally honest, a flood of emotion, expressing feelings, happy news. You know, the Ace of Cups is, is, a, is a new beginning. All right, it's starting over. Um... It has something to do with the heart. It has something to do with feelings, expressing feelings. New start in love, typically new beginning in love or starting over, things getting better. Healing, healing. Mmm. Seven of Swords. Now this is about... This is usually a planner, somebody that is very cunning, very, very clever. Somebody is planning something. This is going right next to that Ace of Cups. This is a very intelligent individual who has something up their sleeve. They're going to be making an offer. So this is somebody that is very intelligent, very cunning, sneaky. This guy is sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Somebody has something up their sleeve. This is definitely something to do with a healing because this guy has three swords tucked under his arm, one across his back and one down by his waist. So it's the three of swords are not stabbed into anything, you know, so it's like a healing energy. One sword is in its sheath, it's not out. There's a lack of communication here. Somebody hasn't been communicating. You know, they haven't been, maybe they haven't been emotionally honest or something like that. We have somebody here that is very sneaky, very sly, very cunning. They're going to be acting on their feelings. They've been torn in two different directions. <laughs> Looking at, this is like a spy or somebody that is watching. You know, they see a huge opportunity. This is somebody that is very clever. Ooh, Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Six of Pentacles reversed is... Uh, I don't know, sometimes this can be theft and the Seven of Swords can be theft as well. I wonder if somebody's planning on stealing someone's heart because or stealing someone's love, you know, because it's the Ace of Cups is right there. Six of Pentacles reverse, lack of reciprocation. There's been a lack of, there's been some sort of one-sidedness or lack of rejection. I think we did talk about rejection a few minutes ago, didn't we? Something about rejection. Very, very cunning. Very cunning. What is this, Six of Pentacles? Mmm, Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody that, I don't know if they don't, there's a, there's a, somebody that may not feel adequate. They may not feel adequate. They may feel like they don't have enough to offer. There could be a thief here. What is going on? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Insecure. Somebody is very insecure. They are. They aren't getting what they deserve. There's been some sort of injustice, unfairness. Somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. Knight of Pentacles reversed, unstable, uh, insecure. Doesn't follow through. Somebody hasn't followed through. They've been 
I don't know. We could have somebody here that is unfaithful. They've been unfaithful. You know, the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's, or there's a lack of integrity here. This person hasn't been giving. They haven't been giving with the Six of Pentacles reversed. They haven't been. This is somebody that is extremely stubborn, very cunning and clever. They're going to be expressing themselves. Doesn't mean it's good, okay? Oh my goodness, Six of Pentacles reversed. That's typically a loss, and so so isn't the pate, the Knight of of Pentacles reversed. Some sort of financial loss. Five of Pentacles is financial hardship. So there's. I wonder if we have somebody here that is very is is planning something. Seven of Swords is a planner. They're planning something. They've had some sort of financial loss or financial burden. You know, maybe they somebody may even be losing a job or they're losing financial stability here. I mean, the Seven of Swords is uh, somebody that is a planner that strategizes things. Maybe this person has been hurt, you know, they've been hurt because he has a Three of Swords, you know, and now they're looking, they're looking for some sort of emotional fulfillment because they've been hurt. You know, they, they haven't been getting reciprocation. They haven't been getting anything, you know. It, not, it hasn't been going anywhere. So I feel like we have somebody here that is putting some plans in action because they're not getting anything or they've lost money or they've lost financial stability or they've lost a job or something like that. Somebody may be losing a job now. You know, there's this could be Seven of Swords. We have somebody here that is planning something. Mmm. Mm. Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is defeat, right? It is betrayal it's somebody that wants to win at all costs that doesn't care who they hurt right this is not this is conflict this is defeat this is a fight this is a battle um so there is some sort of battle here and it is ego this is a card of ego so we have somebody here that is very very egotistical doesn't there could be a theft here we could have somebody here doesn't care who they hurt they're stealing money they're stealing something. They may be pushing somebody away. Uh, they don't care who they hurt. What the hell? Five of Swords. This is somebody that is extremely cunning. Extremely. Has no moral conscience. It's mirroring the Seven of Swords. Somebody is, is being... Uh, Somebody could be getting fired, and, and I, that's not going to be for everybody. But there's, somebody is definitely being pushed away. Somebody's putting some st strategies or some plans in action. We also have an individual here that hasn't been uh, committed. They didn't give. They didn't give. They pushed somebody away. They may be wanting to come back. There's extreme stubbornness here. This person is watching, they're observing, they're planning something. Five of Swords, extremely uh, looking out for number one. Somebody is looking out for number one. They've done this before and they're gonna they're do, they're doing it again. Whatever it is, they've done it before. There's a lack of commitment here. There's somebody, but there's, there is. Knight of Pentacles reverse. That's not committed. That's a dropout. This is a sponger. There could be somebody that is coming around that does not have financial stability. Maybe they've lost some sort of financial stability or something like that. Severing ties. Somebody may have severed ties. Maybe they had to sever ties. Maybe somebody, somebody's losing a job. Just saying uh, they're losing money or they're losing a job. Um, this is, I don't know if they're stealing, you know, if they're stealing or something like that. Somebody is stealing or theft.
This is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. They are very unstable. There's somebody here that is very unstable. They're going to be acting on their emotions. You notice in that Ace of Cups, their emotions are all over the place. They're coming out of the cup. So emotions are all over the place. I don't, I didn't deserve this. I didn't deserve this. So somebody may be acting on their feelings and they're angry. I'm just being... Or they're, and you know how sometimes when people are angry, they'll 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 mask their anger with a smile. So be careful for that. I feel like this is, could be a hostile situation. Whew. Somebody may have been rejected because they're not qualified, and now they're putting up a fight. The rejection is the Six of Pentacles reversed, not qualified, is the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Swords is a battle. It is a fight. You know, they don't want it to end. So somebody may be putting up a fight. They're planning something. You know, they may, they're planning something. You know, this is a revenge. It is revenge. Somebody could be planning revenge, you know, just saying, because they didn't get what they thought they were going to get. They, you know, I didn't deserve this. This is a revengeful act. Definitely it could be. Because the Seven of Swords is plotting and planning. The Five of Swords is revenge. It is. And it's, it's like, I don't care. I don't care. Six of Cups. So Six of Cups is the past. It's memories of the past. Could be somebody from the past that is coming back around. That somebody dated in the past. There was a rejection. Uh, there's been some sort of pain. There's been some sort of uh, deception. Okay, there's deception in the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. Somebody was lying with the Seven of Swords. Definitely somebody was lying. Maybe they were lying about their feelings or they were lying about... Uh, well, they obviously weren't telling the truth. Maybe maybe they didn't want commitment or they didn't want to put in the work, you know, or something like that. Six of Cups, memories of the past, could be a reunion here. We may have somebody from the past that is looking back at something and realizing that somebody didn't deserve, you know, because this Five of Swords is looking right at the Six of Pentacles reversed. This, this, this person is looking at, you know... An unjustified situation. They are. And then it, because it goes Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Reverse, Ace of Cups, expressing feelings. Flood of emotion. There could definitely be a reunion here with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. And this doesn't have to be for, with the one that doesn't, <laughs> that you hate. Okay? It doesn't have to be. How many people are in your past? Everybody. Every single person you know is in your past. Five of Wands reversed. Five of Wands reversed is the end of a conflict, the end of a competition, right? I feel like there's been some tension. This is this is reluctant. It's reluctant to get involved. I feel like we have somebody here that was playing games. You know, they were playing games. They were struggling. They were struggling with uh, giving to a partnership or giving their heart away or something like that. There's been fighting for some of you. There's been fighting. I don't know if there's fighting at work or fighting on the job or there's been some sort of extreme competition. The competition is coming to an end. There's some sort of ties that are being severed. Somebody may have been playing with somebody from their past. You know, there's definitely the past here, and then there's the Five of Wands, which is games, it's competition, it's fighting, it's bickering. This is the end of that. The 
this isn't fair. There's been some sort of unfair treatment. The end of a battle that has been extremely hostile. Could have something to do with children, may have to do with family members. There's just been a serious battle it has with these fives, okay? There's been lies, there's been betrayal, there's been deception, there's been jealousy, there's been inequality, there's been, I don't know if there's been stealing even. You know, uh, there's been an imbalance, there's been uh, strong control, an abuse of power, an abuse of generosity with the Six of Pentacles reversed. You know, somebody may have done something, you know, with strings attached. Okay, this is, it's over, but the Five of Swords and the Five of, five of there's been bickering, there's been a lot of conflict, there's been a lot of drama. Okay, but the Five of Wands reversed is like... The end of a conflict, the conflict ending. Something coming to a halt with that uh, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Something is coming to a stop. It's time to stop. But, but it comes with a loss. It does come with a loss because the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And somebody's walking away. They're being pushed away. It's like, I can't take it anymore. So there could be a fight. There could be a fight. This is not what I deserve. I don't know if there's cheating, there's stealing, there's lies, there's theft. There's something going on here. Okay, this is the betrayal. It is a betrayal. You know, this is like, a, a, it's been a constant battle. There's been extreme competition. Somebody may be going home. You know, they want to go home or they're something like that with the Six of Cups. Star card reversed on the bottom. Why is this happening? Why now? Why now? Why is this happening? Depleted. Depleted. Somebody is depleted. They're depressed. There's, they're, they're giving up hope. So somebody is giving up hope. They're feeling hopeless. This isn't, they're hopeless. This is hopeless. It's like a hopeless situation, right? With the star card reversed. We also have somebody here that may feel ashamed. Okay, they may feel ashamed for their actions. Okay, they may feel ashamed. They may be coming clean. They may be owning up. This could be somebody that caused a lot of drama in the past. This is somebody that caused a lot of drama in the past. This person um, may have led somebody down the wrong path. You know, they abandoned them, they ghosted them, whatever. Um, there's the, but the Ace of Cups is, you know, there's dreams. That's about dreams. It's about emotional honesty, expressing feelings. Somebody may be receiving, you know, I don't know if they're going to be receiving something from somebody that really hurt them, that betrayed them. You know, it could even be an apology. I mean, don't get your hopes up. Definitely don't get your hopes up with the star card reverse. But I do believe that we have somebody here that is uh, watching. It feels like they're spying. They know that they did not, that they did not treat somebody fairly with the Six of Pentacles reverse. They didn't care. They didn't care who they hurt. Five of Swords. This is somebody that may have been unfaithful. Um, Knight of Pentacles reversed. You know, they didn't want to commit. They didn't want to put in any effort. Um, very, very cheap. Maybe, maybe feeling not qualified as well. Not wanting to give. We may have somebody here that was very, very selfish. You know, all they cared about was themselves. Because I do see looking out for number one and number one only. Anyhow, I do feel like you need to be careful. Because the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords signify be careful. Because there could be somebody that is coming back around that has been rejected this person has been rejected you know and they don't care who they weren't want who they hurt they just need a little bit of loving okay it doesn't look like this leads to any type of relationship or any type of long-term situation i feel like this is somebody that i don't know maybe they're still unfaithful you know what i mean knight of pentacles reverse seven of swords you know, this person does this. This is probably what they do on a regular basis. You know, they've done it before. They're, they're very, they're very skilled at 
doing this, you know, this person knows that they can get away with it because they've gotten away with it before. Okay, when they don't, when they aren't getting the attention that they need, when they aren't getting reciprocation from whoever, from one of their game players or the competition, that's when they come running. So I think that that is a real situation we got going on here. I feel like you need to be very, 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 very careful. I also feel like we have somebody here that, um, who's going to be tested because the Knight of Pentacles is a test, upright or reversed, and so isn't the Star card reversed. So you're 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 going to be tested. You're you're going to be tested. Your value is going to be tested. Okay, your value is going to be tested um, because the Knight of Pentacles is about value. Um, somebody's value is going to be tested by a very ha, cunning, clever individual. This person is is extremely clever. Okay, um, egotistical, extremely egotistical. Um, this person is going to be making an offer. The, the Knight of Cups, we saw that at the beginning, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups. This is somebody that you dealt with in the past. Now, this does not mean it is your ex, okay? Do you hear me? Did you hear that? Did it register? This is somebody from your past that is going to be making an offer. This person is cunning and clever and egotistical. They are not qualified for the position. They're not going to give you what you deserve. But they speak words of love. Good luck. 